one. Me and uh, Tink here. Just want to do a quick video on uh, Grizzle Grids. Uh, Tink, she's not my pup, but she is my uh, parent's dog because I'm at my parent's house today. Uh, anyway, anywho, anywho, anywho. Um, wanted to do a quick video on, on Crystal Grids. Uh, I've been actually working on uh, a Crystal Grid from um, Hibiscus Moon's um, her book. Basically it's just like a six six stone crystal uh, it's either a six, six stone or five stone crystal grid. Um, I have my um, selenite gener generator point in the middle and then I have six five or six um, clear quartz around the middle and um, it's just to put, you know, positive energy, um, you know, in my bedroom and just, you know, keep the energy clear and, and um, positive. Uh, I think it's working um, really, really well. Uh, I think I even have um, a candle quartz um, in there too, but I'm not sure. Um, you know, I've been doing it for maybe about a week now. Um, I really think it's great. I really think uh, it's working. But I think what I will do um, next time, definitely just, you know, recommendation for everyone else out there. If you're going to do um, a crystal grid, uh, I mean, usually in Hibiscus Moon's book, she recommends putting it in the middle of the room, which is sort of what I did. But um, for someone like me who trips a lot, leaving a crystal grid with pointed crystals um, in the open where you, when you get up in the middle of the night and you forget it's there, you can um, trip over that and severely hurt yourself. Um, so it's definitely something that I recommend. If you're going to do crystal grids and, you know, pretty much leave it up all the time, um, you know, while um, you want the energy of those crystals to work the area that it's in, um, I do recommend putting it on something, putting it on a table, putting it on, you know, higher than actually on the ground because if, you know, you get up and, you know, you don't have lights on or you don't put a light on and you just kind of get up and you forget it's there, tend to trip over it. So this is what, this is what I did. So yeah, my arm's pretty swollen. Um, it doesn't really hurt that bad, but I ended up falling on, I don't really know which crystal it was. It was either one of the palm stones or it was either the the candle quartz or the pointed um or the pointed cell selenide generator. I'm not really sure which one I fell on, but I fell on one of them and hurt myself pretty bad. So I just want to do a quick video on that. So uh, sorry, I put on a new shirt. I gotta cut that tag off. Anyway, anywho, um, I just wanted to put that out there. If you can do a crystal grid. I think it's great, but watch where you're putting it, and watch where you're walking, because uh, as much as um, I love my crystals and they're great, um, I'm not going to be doing stupid stupid things like leaving them lined up on the floor like I, I normally do, and actually um, in my fall I had a, um, a beautiful four inch um, desert rose, uh, I had that from Sammy Witch on the Rocks, and when I fell, I had, you know, other, other crystals lined up on the floor in the corner of the room. That was one of them. I fell on it. And, of course, you know, we all know the Desert Rose is like 0.2 on the hardest scale. So my 90-pound self fell on it. And I literally cracked it down the middle. And it literally just, literally just broke off from, like, the middle of it, from its base. So now I have two Desert Rose. Um, and it's no longer, no longer a cluster because I broke it in half. So, um, I really hope I could still use it for crystal healing, considering I fell on it and cracked it in half, but I don't know if anyone has suggestions on that, and knows whether or not if I could still use it for its energy, even though I fell on it and cracked it in half, I'd love to know. I mean, I definitely, I mean, you know, I, I love it, I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I don't know if now that I broke it, if I could still use it for energy healing, so if anyone knows the answer to that, definitely leave a comment on the bottom. But, uh, yeah, so that's just my two cents on crystal grids, and I really think they're great, and I really think they, um, they work, but you definitely may want to be careful, like I said, where you put them, if you're going to put it in the middle of the room, just make sure you're not walking over the middle of the room, that you're going to walk over it and trip and fall and really hurt yourself, but, um, alrighty.
Thanks. Bye.